Rubber Mold Man here, and today we are going to show a simple painting technique, and it, this is probably the most requested uh, painting technique that we get. We have uh, people constantly emailing us, asking uh, for uh, different ideas or different examples of how to do uh, different finishes. This one, for whatever reason, uh, most people seem to be interested in, and it is uh, what would be considered a high contrast dry brush finish of black and white. Uh, two totally different colors, and uh, it's actually one of the easiest finishes, so it's a perfect one if you're interested in it, and there's a couple ways you can do it to get a totally different look to it. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. Now, first of all, this already has the black base coat. Again, go to episode one if you want details on what the base coat is and how to do it. And I'm going to be using a dry brush technique. Go to episode two, and I'll explain the ins and outs of dry brushing. Uh, one thing too, this type of finish and using the dry brush on it, sometimes uh, people refer to it as antiquing. So keep that in mind, if somebody's saying antiquing, they usually mean it's a finish done with dry brushing of two coats like this, made to look uh, like an old type finish, like stone or something. But we're gonna do this, so it already has a flat black on it. Not a real good coat, it's kind of watery and see-through, that's fine, not gonna matter for this. And then I have some white paint. Now before I begin, I just wanna share something a little odd about this finish. Now back in the 80s, whenever it was that uh, my family first started using this finish on our statuary, at the time, we used to use a black base coat on most everything, and like our big fountains, for instance, we would do with a blue color, a green, uh, a copper. Uh, white was never used, and we never saw it used anywhere. And then I think it was me that actually came up with the idea, hey, why don't we try dry brushing white on it? We tried it, instantly became the number one finish that our customers like. What I found out over the years is that the black and white finish, and also the gray and white finish, which I'll show in another video, for some reason, a lot of people think it's blue. I can't explain it, but we've had a number of people over the years that they go, I, I want that blue bird bath. And you go and grab the blue one, they're like, no, the other blue one, and it's the white and black. I've actually had people get angry because they'll order a fountain. We used to have a display of all the colors they could choose, and I would have this black and white finish, and they would choose that. They'd come to pick it up. I'm like, I didn't want it blue, and I'd have to show them, this is what you pick. I'm like, oh. So, I don't know how the video is going to show it. This is literally just black paint with white paint. There's no blue. There's no mixing of colors. It's black and white. But don't be surprised if some people, for some reason, see it as blue. I don't know if it's an optical illusion, one of those blue dress, gold dress things. I don't know. But it has happened a lot. So I just wanted to share that because it's a very odd thing. So we're going to start by doing this typical dry brush. And this is very thick white paint I've got here. It's old and thick, but that's perfect for dry brushing. You don't want watery paint for dry brushing. And to start with, I'm gonna do a couple of different uh, styles of the black and white so you can see just how you can use the two colors but get completely different looks. So we're gonna try to get most of this off and I'm just gonna lightly go over this guy. Just gently go over him first and just kind of dust him. We don't need anything dark and you get to where it's mostly black and you have a bit of the highlights here popping out with the white. So you can go just to that level, or let's say we want a bit more white, but still keep it soft. Let's just maybe kind of smash it in here and there. Just kind of fill in a bit more of the black, but still let a lot of that black show through. Again, very simple. You see how quick it is? I mean, you can't really get any easier because these are such completely different colors that the white instantly shows up as soon as you put it on the piece. So there's a very soft look to it. Um, now from my angle, I can't quite see the front because we're doing this video. I think I've got most of it looking the same here. Uh, and I'm not worried about the back right now for the video. But there's a very soft, basic, quick antique finish, dry brush finish, whatever you want to call it. But let's take it one step more. Let's get some more white paint. Let's say we want it really white. Well, let's just get more white paint and go heavier, have a little bit more paint on it. And let's go on it again. Kind of smash it in there. Get it in all those de details. Just letting a little of the black show through. And again, you can go over this as heavy as you want with the white. You can go to where there's hardly any of the black showing through if you want. But the idea, of course, is that by uh, doing this dry brush style finish on it, you're doing next to no work and yet all the details popping out as if You've done this extremely detailed, painstaking finish on the item, which of course you haven't. But most people don't know that. They just think it looks like a really nice detailed statue. Again, we can go on it even more if we want. Who cares? We can make it as white as we want. It just keeps going and going. Honestly, that's about as much as I ever put on them. 
but you saw how it's the same process just the amount of paint on the brush is all that really uh, matters here but let me take a look here maybe try to get where I can see it better I think that's fine from what I can tell once the video is over I'll probably look at it and be like well that's a mistake but I'll deal with that later but from looking down on top of it it looks fine for right now that's really it folks um, it doesn't get any simpler than that black and white is probably the easiest uh, paint finish when you're dry brushing the trick in my opinion using flat paints if you use semi-gloss or gloss they tend to smear as you're trying to dry brush over and you get those brush marks you've probably seen saturated like that where you can literally see the big brush marks on them to me that looks ugly i like it to look a little softer a little more natural and flat paints will make that so much easier and again you want thicker paint it doesn't have to be this thick this is old paint that i'm using up but you don't want watery paint um that's really it that's the simple basic uh black and white finish one of the most popular finishes out there it just happens to be the easiest so it's a win-win uh so until next time Hope you have fun and happy painting.